What's up, 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 Let's tap in, Sussies. Let's um get you guys some messages. Let's see what the most important messages Holy Spirit wants you guys to know at this time. Okay. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Okay. If you email me, um, I did see it. Okay. Just give me some time, and I'm gonna get back to you. Okay. I am not ignoring anyone, okay? I just want you guys to know, um, I really move on divine time. Like, I move like how my spirit guides tell me to move, okay? So, I hope that just makes you, you know, you can just, you know, <clears throat> trust that I'm obedient to my guides. <laughs> yeah, official person is sun and well, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody, for somebody, it's not all about the money, you know, it's, <laughs> okay? Because all money ain't good money, you know, it's about moving in, you know, in a divine way, you know? And I want to make sure I give you guys accurate messages and, you know, clear guidance, okay? So let's tap in. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest way, light, my spirit guides, my holy angels. Angel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seeds. Sorry, spirit bird. Um, after messages for the collective. Anything other than the highest white light, please close, shut, and block that door. Okay? Any doors that I'm opening up knowingly and unknowingly. Anything that's not of the highest divine white light, please block it. Thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the message that you want to collect for something to hear at this time? Please and thank you. So first part off, we have journey, which is the number 10. 10 speaks about um, completions. I'm going to use, let me see. I haven't used this in a while. Give me one, oh, here. Give me one second, son, please. Give me one second. So the first part out we have journey, which speaks about 10, speaks about completions. It's given like there's somewhere you need to be. I also um, noticed that these two couples in the back, it's like it's a man and a woman, okay? So there could be a connection that you're being, um, it's a connection that's a thank you spirit. It's a connection that awaits you, okay? It's somewhere you and someone has to be. <laughs> that's what it's giving me, okay? I don't know if this new or past life, but we just going to tap in. But it's, and it's, I never even, I never even noticed this. Yeah, this is a, this is a woman and a man. And, but the woman look like, the woman look a tent. The man look like, he like, he looking at like, what's, what's the hold up? <laughs> okay. The woman looks the tent, but the man look like, what's the hold up? So. Somebody should be just now figuring something out with this journey that they got somewhere to be, okay? Somebody could be, you know? If you're single, this is somebody who's realizing, like, I have a divine counterpart that I'm supposed to fulfill some type of mission with, okay? Um, like I said, for the woman, you just look very content. Man or female, there's no gender in tarot. It just, I just read energy, Okay? Somebody look like they already know. Somebody else looking like, what's the hold up? And then there's somebody that's looking at the train where somebody already realized it because they got their suitcase packed, they ready. So somebody could be figuring out something. Like I said, 10 speaks about completions. So um, <clears throat> if there was any confusion or delays, that is ending. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, hi, Anna. I cannot make it up. Judication under the bottom. Y'all know my judication has always been my spiritual card. Always been in the three years. Okay? Um, it's like spiritual court is now in the session. High honor. Okay, this is like whoever whoever this couple is, they held in high honor. 
um, is giving um, someone's ancestors is at work. But the adjudication and message, I can't make it up. Official person. Mm -hmm. The message gave me like the Ace of Swords. House and courtship. I can't make it up. Two people supposed to be building together. It's giving like a four wands in it, um, energy. Um, speaks about celebrations, um, foundation, marriage. But someone is in the spirit and they thoughts as well. So let's keep going. <clears throat> it's giving somebody, um, thank you, spirit. Somebody having a um, day job, boo. Thank you, spirit. Somebody having deja vu. Yeah, lovers and unexpected income and message of concern. Yeah, great fortune. Child. Somebody's having like a deja vu. Deep and courtship. Maybe somebody feels like somebody robbed them of a connection. I heard, yeah, somebody felt like they were so happy with you, but maybe this person got confused. Maybe they were on some type of confusion spell or something like that. Somebody felt like they was robbed of something. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I just heard deja vu. What's the two and five breaking down to a seven? This is another seven. I mean, this is another card of completion. Okay. Deja vu. Seven and ten. What is that? Seventeen. One and seven breaking down to an eight. Something that, yeah, somebody. But the yeah, the unexpected income and great fortune, and we see the sudden wealth of a fishy person. Somebody feel like somebody tried to trick them out of the inheritance, like a ten of pinnacle situation. Yeah, something is coming to an end. It's like so I heard deja vu. So somebody, uh -huh. okay, give me one more home spirit. I cannot make it up to you, so I see sudden wealth. It's a ten of pinnacles energy here. Okay, we seen the adjudication. Like I told you, that's like spiritual core for me, like a judgment card. When it comes to the universe, like if you don't blow in a horn or something. High honor. This could even be a star. The star card, you know, the star card speaks about wishes, inspiration, hope. Ooh, another spirit word, confirmation. But it also speaks about your guides as well. Okay, so. Somebody is realizing something. Distant horizon and occupation and message, official person. Yeah, somebody is realizing something. This could be somebody who's in separation from, or this could be someone who's um, realizing with the distant horizon occupation that they needed to, like, somebody realizing, like, I need to move around, you know, with the journey card. Like, wherever I'm at is not conducive for me, like, I need to move around because there's something better for me. Message, official person, adjudication. Somebody could even felt like they was entitled. I just heard. Yeah, something. You could be seeing 11, the number 11, and the number 17. 11, yeah. So somebody's awakening to something when it regards to, you know, um, abundance the inheritance and abundance could be you know love good health you know um good friendships you know whether it's platonic or romantic you know someone could have been settling for less than they deserve and somebody's realizing like i'm supposed to be living an abundant life this is not where i'm supposed to be you know it's like somebody i just heard of um 11 and 17 somebody is awakening that somebody could also be awakening into who they are Okay, maybe somebody been playing it small and somebody's actually realizing their worth. Imprisonment, because I'm trying to fix the deck, but it's showing imprisonment, child. Maybe somebody even felt stuck. They could have even felt stuck as a child. Okay. Yeah, with the lovers. Somebody also could have been very childish when it came to a lover connection that, you know, was supposed to be built between two people. Or this could even just be a loved one that just somebody who wanted to keep somebody stuck in a mental prison where they just play small. It's like somebody could have possibly not wanted somebody to know they were. Yeah. I just think the imagination. So the imagination for me, it gives me like daydreaming and manifesting and stuff like that. But I also heard deja vu. So, let's see. 
What's the journey card, Holy Spirit? Thank you. The journey card is clarified with the Archangel Raphael. So, as someone is healing, it says the healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. So, as someone is healing, they're realizing that there's a cycle that needs to be completed. Okay? Anything after the 10 is always the one that speaks about new beginnings. Um, the 2 or 5 breaking down to a 7. So, someone is completing out the cycle. I feel like someone is tapping into their higher self. Somebody is realizing who they are. Maybe they was around energies or, you know, around energies that try to keep them perform and put them in some type of box. And somebody is realizing they work as they heal. Okay? Maybe you was dealing with people that wanted to keep you, like, stuck or in, you know, some type of... Um, this could even like you know just be a mindset but as someone heal and grow and evolve they're realizing their worth yeah under the bottom it says visualize success somebody is realizing that they are meant for more and i don't know if this was just you or it could have been you know the people that you was around but somebody realized that they realized they worked with the high honor they realized that they was playing it small maybe somebody also was playing the safe maybe somebody also was dimming their light Maybe somebody was trying to fit in when they actually know that they meant to stand out. Visualize success and you are a powerful light worker. It says you are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. Visualize success. See yourself doing well in the situation and have faith in a positive outcome. And I feel like whoever you are, that's exactly what you're doing now. You know? Like, somebody is giving, like, certainty. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's giving certainty. Somebody is certain of who they are. But they they had to heal. Um, there was something about them that they had to heal. I heard deja vu. So maybe this is something, and I did see the child. So maybe someone envisioned a certain life about themselves. Since Maybe since they was very young. You know, this could be somebody who just, like, say, you know, I, I want to be, you know, and, you know, um... A healthy marriage, a healthy relationship. Um, I know I'm meant to be this this person to just be very inspiring. Because like I said, the high honor, you know, intuitively, it also give me the star card. The star card can be very inspirational. It can be hope. It could be someone who's meant to be a star. But it also, the star card, it represents a guide. Guy, I'm sorry. It represents guidance. Guidance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So somebody, is, somebody always had visions since they was very young for a certain life of them. And I feel like somebody was just playing it small, playing it safe. But now as someone heal and grow and evolve, it's giving like somebody is coming out of their shell. You know? Yeah, fairies. Somebody, yeah, fairies. I feel like you're very angelic. It says you have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping mother nature. Yeah. Somebody is like a fairy, like, you know? Very angelic. Can I have messages on the high honor? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. High honor. High honor. Thank you. Yeah, release. It said, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you on your higher purpose. So, you guys could very be very much familiar with Archangel Michael. Um, definitely work with Archangel Michael. You could be asking Archangel Michael to, you know, help you release, you know, toxic energy that you may have absorbed on your path, on your journey in life. So you can start brand new. Because like I said, anything after the 10 sun seeds is the one, you know. Um, somebody want to go higher. Somebody wants to go higher and they know that they... they they know that they meant for that. And I feel like somebody was just playing it safe. But I feel like somebody was playing it safe because they didn't want to be target. But for whoever I'm speaking to, the collective, I'm going to tell you this, baby. You're a target. You're a threat. I'm just making... I, 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 14, 22... I, listen, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest in future voice. <laughs> and he's a rapper. So somebody could be a rapper watching me, but... um. Future is your future. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, you're already a threat. And if you try to you trying to dim that light of yours to try to, like, play it safe so you don't be a threat, baby, no matter what you do, you're going to be a threat. I, I, 
listen, I'm just a messenger. So even if you don't walk into whatever this journey is and you play it small, you still gonna be a threat. So why not be a threat and fully in your, your life purpose or fully in your calling or fully doing what makes you happy? Be a threat, fully make, doing what makes you happy solely with a whole ten of pinnacles type of energy. You playing it small and you're not meant to play it small. You really know who you are as you heal. 15, 15, stop playing it small. Stop trying to play it safe. You're not meant to play it safe. You know what's up. You know what you're supposed to be doing, so do it. You can't please everybody. You're not meant to please everybody. Everybody's not going to like you. That's just part of the journey. It, 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 you're not meant for, to be liked by everybody. But you will, that 1533, you will be guided, okay, to attract energies that need your help. It's something way bigger than what your mind, what the prism, what you may think. You, it, it's not about, it, not saying it's not about you, but I'm, whoever I'm picking up on, you're calling this, like, you're calling it bigger than your body. You're calling bigger than your body. It's something that you're supposed to be doing, supposed to be elevating the collector. You and someone. It's not just you. You and someone. Indigo. The person you're acquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader with guilt. Come on, sunsees. Somebody, you, you feel guilty for being a natural born leader? You feel guilty for this? Somebody been playing this small spirit said, and we ain't doing that no more. This orange being all, all over here, something about your sacral chakra. Some, I heard a masterpiece. So you're supposed to be something about a masterpiece, creativity, ambition. Cancel, clear, and delete, and regret. Somebody, it says regret. I know I cannot change the past. You cannot change the past. It's giving heavy emphasis on acceptance. It is what it is. Only thing you have right now is the moment. You don't have the past because the past is behind you and the future is not here yet. Ooh, confirmation. Somebody has to get the foresight. They know for a fact about, somebody knew about their future since they was a young kid. Okay? I, I mean, whoever you are, I'm just a messenger. Cancel, play, and delete. You could be a singer or a dancer. Maybe you're someone who danced very well. Okay? Um, maybe you put that on hold. Singing. Something that you love to do. Dancing. I just am here in Broadway. So something about plays. Something about singing and dancing is a way for you to help express yourself. Okay? Deny you. Okay, it says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So something was just a fear. It was an illusion. It wasn't real. And it was meant to keep you stuck. So you wouldn't fill out, you wouldn't fulfill out, you know, what, what, it, what I'm getting destiny. Okay? Base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. So something about how you speak to yourself, what you think. Like I said, it could be a mindset. Maybe you just start speaking life over yourself, um, especially affirmations, because whoever you are, I, I'm not about to sugarcoat this reading to you. You are a threat, okay? You are a threat, and you're being targeted. And even if you play small, you're still going to be targeted and, and a threat. So why not be in this sudden wealth and, and, and things come together for you gracefully and you be a threat, okay? Don't be your own worst enemy. Don't be your own worst enemy, okay? Um, you need to speak a lot of life over yourself, uh, 1855. A lot of affirmations speak over your life because you can have a lot of energies that's projecting over you. Um, and you know, projection, um, you know, could be a good thing and a bad thing. Even with spell words, spell words could be a good thing and a bad thing. You got dark, you got light. You know, and that's just with anything, whether it's spirituality, whether it's religion, whatever. It's, it's always dark and light. Make sure that you're covering yourself. Ain't nobody going to cover yourself the way you could cover yourself. Okay? Mm-hmm. Step into that. Manifestation powers. Okay? It says, use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. You have everything that you need. You are quick. You have all the... the all of the I heard utensils. <laughs> you have everything that you need to create the life that you desire. If you get nervous, focus on service. This is giving like an alchemist energy. 
you know transmute that energy you got the listen you have everything you need the the, the you know to create the life of you you know that you desire what you always knew that you was meant here to do and that was your abundance trust it is yours nobody can take that away from you the most they can try to do is try to trick you out of it you know while they projecting and speaking over your life you make sure you speaking highly over your life you understand so see someone is meant and called to do great things and with the high honor with the release i feel like your ancestors your spirit team is guiding you in the direction of what you know what to leave behind will no longer serve you and you know prepare you for a new beginning thank you holy spirit what's the um high honor and um release Ooh, child. <laughs> yeah freedom i can't make it up so I, see, I cannot make it up okay you meant to be free like it's also given um how can i say it? um no your birthright you know your birthright I heard you meant to take a stand. So take that how it resonates. You meant to take a stand. But this is your birthright to be free. You know, abundant. Not to be restricted to conform to anything. As you release, you free yourself from any burden. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look, Holy Spirit. I said, look, Holy Spirit. Look, sun seeds, purpose, and happiness. As you fulfill your purpose and go after that, it's going to make you very happy. And like I said earlier, look, honesty, <laughs> that's the truth. Listen, whoever you are, stop doing that. Stop, stop, you stop dimming your light because even when you try to dim your light, you still shine. <laughs> you still, you still stand out. Whoever you are, your purpose is going to make you very happy because it's just giving like an energy of being your free, authentic self. Like, I don't care what you think of me. I don't care how you view me. I don't care what you speak over me because I speak life over me. Okay? I speak life over me. You trying to kill me and put death over me and trying to kill my dreams. I'm speaking life over me. You're a threat already, baby. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sugarcoat it this reading tonight. You're already a threat. So why not be free and happy and you're fully in your life purpose and be a threat, okay? And study being an imprisonment and in denial you and being your own worst enemy and regretting and, and sitting in the past. Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? That's what the enemy want, but that's not what we that's not what we doing. What's the sudden wealth, Holy Spirit? Spirit is saying it's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual powers bring great blessings and love and service to the divine. So what you're doing is bringing great love and service to the divine. Yeah, regret. Sudden well. I know I cannot change the past. Somebody is going towards their future. <laughs> I'm getting happy and dancing. <laughs> somebody could be a single or dancer. But somebody is just like... Somebody going after what they love. Okay? Without any regret anymore. Yeah, third eye chakra. Okay? <laughs> yes. Somebody listening to their intuition. And I heard earlier, somebody knew, somebody could definitely have a gift of foresight, but they knew since a young end that they was going to live a certain life. Yeah, humor. Laugh, baby. Yeah. Humor and acceptance. I'm telling you. Laugh at it. And accept it for what it is. What's, you don't need to, you, it says regret. I know I cannot change the past. Laugh it off. And be thankful that God woke you up and, you know, the next morning, the next day or whatever. Like, thank God that you, you, you know, you choose me and you feel like I'm so worthy of, you know, continuous to put breath in my ear to live another day out. You know, because some people didn't wake up this morning. Some people didn't wake up this second. And some people in the hospital, you know, not feeling too good and, 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 and you know, not feeling good about themselves. Okay. I worked in the hospital for four and a half years. Um, I made very great money, but it was to the point where sometimes where people be like, oh, you shouldn't take on that extra shift. I ain't doing that. I'm not like, mm -mm. I mean, they taxed the crap out of me, but it was more so of the fact that um, I loved what I do. And I love, I, I love, I just love what I do. 
You know, I used to walk in the room sometimes. You know I love to give y'all story time. I used to walk in the room and it'd be people that it would really hurt me, the people that didn't even have visitors. But it would just me, even if they have a, their whole family in there. People that not be feeling so good and not come in the room and they just like that smell, sunsees, that smell, that thing be big. And I already could see, and they, I already could look down on the, I could look at the chart and see what they're going through. But just knowing that, that energy that I brought, it made them feel so good. It only made me feel like if I walked out of their room and, and, and maybe I was probably going through something like, Ooh, I know I got to hurry up because I got to get my son and, you know, I don't have the child care and I don't have this, I don't have that. You know, I got to make everything work. Like, it would make everything go out the window. Like, I, I felt like. We ain't about to get emotional. Mm. But y'all know your girl's sensitive energy. Y'all know how I am. It make me feel like, who are you to cry over that when somebody's literally crying over their life, fighting for their life, you know? So, laugh it off. And I used to have patients where I used to vent to all the time. And I just... I, I missed, you know, the way how they used to just speak so much life. Do y'all allow that plainness? <laughs> they speak so much life over to me. And I love older people. I love them. I love them. I love them. Because they speak so much wisdom. And they speak so much life over you. And, and it doesn't, you don't have to be older. You could be younger and just be somebody full with a lot of wisdom as well, too. But it just be like, mm -mm. You worth more, Sunset. We got books. Some, it says books. Your life purpose involves writing and reading and editing or, excuse me, confirmation. Reading or editing or selling spiritual-based books. Somebody need to write a book on their life. Okay? Relationships and, and back in my way fear. Okay? Somebody been through a lot. Um, maybe you might be afraid to express everything you've been through. But you're going to help a lot of people. Your story is going to help a lot of people. What you've been through. Yeah, listen to your intuitive feelings. I can't make it up. List, like, it's going to help a lot of people. I heard Broadway earlier. Somebody could literally write a book and it could make a, a, a play out of your book. Okay? You know? Your book could be on, like, a movie. You know? We want to hear it. We want to know. We want to know, you know? So, let's move on. So, let's see. Let's see. So, as you release and move on, you, you, um, you free yourself. I feel like as you, with the freedom and the happiness, like, you free yourself to, to, to say, I deserve to be happy. <laughs> I deserve to be happy. Okay? I deserve to be happy. I know what I'm here to do. You know? Um, everybody, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I heard nobody could do what you do. Nobody could do, do it like you. I heard they can't do that. Oh, yeah. It's only something that you, you know, everybody has their own unique path. And they like purpose that makes them different and stand out. But something about yours that it needs to be seen. And you have a journey, high, high honor, and sudden wealth. You have high... I cannot make it up. And look what the deck is. 11-11 under the bottom. I'm, higher ups is putting this on emphasis. Like, it's that time. So, it's somebody's time. Sudden wealth, is, it got 11 on it. It's somebody's time. Look, I can't make it up. 11-11 level up. I, I, I would not make this up to you guys. And I don't know where they do that at anyway. But, um... <laughs> Um, it's somebody time. I just heard good times. <laughs> Sussies. We want to see you. We want to hear you. We want to know about you. Okay. Can I have a card on the journey? 11-11 was clarified. We'll level up. And the, 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 it like it's an elevator. And they, and the number you, it's like the button you press is 100. Yeah, 100. What's that? Zero, zero speaks about new beginnings is here. Uh, you know, 11 speaks about 
activation, divine awakening. So somebody's awakening to their calling. Thank you, Spirit. What's the journey? I heard something is about. It's good times. If you felt stuck somewhere, that is over with. Watch the things involve. I mean, in, I heard involve. Ooh, child. I was going to say involve in divine timing. Involve. Somebody could be in a magazine, a makeup artist, or what? Something that's going to be big. Look at this. Anything is possible. And look, you don't have to be from New York, but if you know about this, is like the Apollo. Right? I said Broadway, right? Look at look. It says anything is possible. Wow. Somebody gonna be like Broadway in a movie. Look at this under the bottom sunset. I'm telling you guys, whoever this reading is gonna resonate for, baby. I wanna see you. I wanna hear about you. I wanna know your story. It says celebrate your win. If something was, I just heard if something was hard, it was only temporary. It was only prepping you. It says everything is temporary. I feel like something was only prepping you. And it's looking like someone is getting a tattoo. Right? I know what me growing up when I was younger. Um, as most of us, I've been through a lot, right? And every time that I go through a period in my life, um, I would say up until the, like 10 years ago, because I had stopped, but I have 22 tattoos on me and, um, and, but it's not like real, like where it's like visible, where it's certain things like, you know, probably in my hand, a little certain thing, but it's not visible where somebody look at it like, Oh, she tatted up. You know, it was like, I was more of like, I wanted it in certain areas. You know, certain parts of my body where you would have to be certain reveal, you know? But anyway, you know, long story short, everything temporary. And I'm looking at this. Somebody could be a tattoo artist that's watching me. But when I used to go through certain periods in my life, I will always go and get a tattoo. Like, each of my 22 tattoos have meanings for me. I know when I was going through that. I know when I was going through that. I know when I was going through that. And some people will say... Ooh, I can't deal with that pain. Ooh, child. That pain is, for me, I could because I have a high tolerance. And um, that pain that I felt, I felt like it would numb me. Like, you know what I mean? So somebody could have been using something to numb them. It could have been a fix, you know, whatever. But that, but for me, it was tattoos, you know? It wasn't nothing for me because if I go through something really, you know, something that was really hurtful I get a tattoo and it and numb me and I feel you know but something is so much more somebody could be watching me you could be into art you could be a tattoo artist you could be a painter can I have a card on the side well Holy Spirit look studying wealth is clear power protection I can't make it up this wealth nobody can't take it away from you Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, I heard ain't nobody delaying you. This protection that ain't nobody can take that from you. It's only waiting, it's only waiting for you to tap in it. <laughs> Projections and luck. Now, somebody could have been projecting over your luck, over your fortune. But Spirit is saying, you know, enjoy it, yeah. It says, see you on the other side, enjoy the ride. Something is meant for you is going to always be meant for you. Somebody who was projecting and try to conform you or keep you stuck or have you feeling like you weren't worthy, it was only a projection. It was only illusion. It was never, ever real. I don't care if you 60-something years old watching me. Honestly, I don't even care what age you are, no matter what age you are, okay? It was never delayed. It was only waiting for you to just unlock it. Yeah, level levity. I'm just hearing here somebody something that's gonna make you very happy. Somebody is meant for greatness. 
okay? And I'm hearing Spirit is putting so much emphasis on for me to, to, to say it. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy, okay? Manifestation and support. Like, listen, you could be, look, 11-11 out here twice for you guys. This is definitely could be a divine union. 11-11 out here twice. Can you see that? And support. You could be seeing 44-44. Love, love, love surrounds you. Progress. Momentum is increasing. Peace. You're going to have peace at the um, choco shrimp. Okay, you had the 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 um the strength to persevere through things. You had the confidence and the courage to keep going as you release what no longer serve you. You know, somebody is just somebody is meant for great things. Oh, give me one more card, Holy Spirit. Yeah, balance. Things about to be balanced out in your life. You can be seeing 33, 33 a lot. Okay, so spirit is saying balance, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Your, your whole life is about to be balanced out. Knowledge, you gained a lot of knowledge on your journey through your experiences. And you're going to still learn some more experiences, spirit is saying. As you heal and grow, something that you pray for is coming into fruition. Okay. Wow, I just heard, I promise you something and I won't let you down. Take that how, I just heard, I promise you something and I won't let you down. Celebrate your wins, anything is possible. Despair, why we have a despair, Holy Spirit? What's a three and two breaking down to a five? What is, what is a despair about? Coffee. So somebody is in this one and nine again, breaking down to a 10. So we have 10, 10 here, 11, 11 here, and 11, 11 again. Somebody is in despair about an a, a ending. Letting go, what no longer serves them. Endings. And I could pick this up on another way. Maybe you dealt with a lot of endings and heartbreak. And maybe you felt like people would be on this path and this journey with you. Only to realize that it was only designed and meant for you. And the people that are meant to be on your path, the vine will not, will not allow it to miss you. You know, um, somebody could have been having that regret and guilt. Maybe, you know, somebody, you know, expected it to be a certain way only to find out it was aligned to be a, a totally different way. I'm also getting another thing with the coffin and despair. Yeah, I know I like my story times. Once in a while, I, you know, I give it to you guys because, you know, to my true supporters who, you know, that really be, you know, that's really, that really rocks with me because I know everybody that watch my channel that doesn't, but I know I have a high following that really supports me and rocks with me and that needs, you know, through story time because it can help someone. Um, with the coffin of despair, maybe you've been you someone who been through so much to where you feel like you know the people that made you feel better in your beginning of days, they're not here anymore. They could have passed over and passed away. Or something could have happened to them where they're no longer here to support you. But whoever you are, the reason why you're still standing is because you're meant to be here. Okay? You was meant to be here for whatever this ride is for you. Okay. The coffin and despair. Somebody could be, you know, be feeling sad about people that passed over. Page of Cups to the Six of, um, six of Pentacles. I heard earlier, whatever I promised you, 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 listen, it's yours. Somebody could be thinking about someone who passed over. It could be making them sad because you know maybe your maybe your major support system they're no longer here on this early ran but in the spirit they want you to know that i'm here and i'm rooting for you okay you go you gonna get you gonna get to where you need to be i'm gonna push you 
And for some of you guys, if it's not an actual death, it could just be somebody who's just not here um, in your life, currently in your life no more, because they're not meant to be. You know? Something about your life is very different and, and, and it's very special. It's something that needs to be fulfilled in this lifetime. I know earlier I was like thinking about a situation where um, I had a, um, a guy that I was really close to for 17 years. He was from my neighborhood. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I was, you know, I told you that um, I moved out very, you know, I moved out after high school, even though I still attend college, even though I still worked at the, you know, had a job at the post office, do all of that. I, um, I left 18. So, you know, 18, when, you know, when you look at it now, you're like, damn, 18, you're still a baby, you know? And I was, but I had the, you know, I had to provide a shelter for my, for myself that was conducive and, and healthy for me. And it was this guy, like I said, he was from my neighborhood. Him and my aunt, they was always there for me. Like, when I moved out, they'd be like, their call, like, make sure you, make sure the stove is off. <laughs> make sure all the lights is out so you don't run up your electricity. And make sure the stove is over. Did you eat today? And how it's work? And this, you know, this guy, like I said, he always been a part of my life. He knew my, he knew my dad. Um, we shared similar stories with our, you know, with our dad. He was just one of the people that would just very much protect us. Um, if I had, you know, if I was in a relationship, I could call him because he was the type of person that, um, I wasn't in the streets, but he was. So he, he would give me like the, the rundown, let me know if this was healthy for me or like, he was basically like a, a guy, like which way to go? Well, I felt like it was a guy, like which way to go, which to avoid, do this, do that. And, you know, sometimes I would listen and sometimes I wouldn't. And if something was going on, he would be the first, like, going on it. You know, like, say, you know, like I said, being so young and moving out. Of course, you know, certain areas, people will look at it like, well, this this woman is young. You know, she's driving. She has a good job. She goes to school. It's like, people were like, there's a difference between pray, P-R-A-Y, and there's another difference between P-R-E-Y. And if I felt like, if I was, like, not safe, I knew that that person would just always come and run to my rescue. Um, and this was somebody who would always look out for everybody, make sure everybody good, know every you know, this, this this type of person he was. And um this gonna be I don't know, maybe help someone, but um about ten years ago, about roughly ten or nine years ago. Um, he had, he needed me, really. He needed me. Like, how I always needed him. You know, I was there if he needed me, but this time I felt like he really needed me. And at the time, I was at the courthouse handling some business, you know, handling something very important that I needed in regards to, like, you know, family matters or whatever. And he, you know, we had a conversation, and he was like, what you doing? And I was telling him what I was doing or whatever, whatever. And he was like, well, when you're done, Call me. I want you to stop by my house. And him, he, he lived next door from my grandmother. He lived with his mother, and his mother lived next door to his grand. He lived next door to my grandmother. His grandmother is like the builders was. His grandmother here, my grandmother here, and his mother house here. And his grandmother was close friends. My grandmother was close friends. And like I said, the type of bond we had, no matter what, I can always talk to him about relationships. I could talk to him about anything, even even. You know, he was much, he was older than me, five years older than me. Even with certain things about, like, women things, like, it does not matter. He would just, he he just, you know, um, he helped me with a lot. And he needed me, and like I said, he kept saying, you know, what you doing? I, was, I told him what I was doing. He was like, well, I was like, I got to call you back. He was like, well, I'm not going to say my last name, but he's the queen by my last name. Well, such and such, don't forget. And if you, if you, um, if you could. Make sure you come to my house. I really need to see you. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. But Sunday, I was so freaking tired after the yeah, Ace of Cups to the Four Swords. Something that made you emotional, you're healing from that. And it could have brought some type of despair. Could have made you sad. Um, But um, 
I'm like, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. But so I see, if you know anything about, you know, I don't know where you guys are at, but you know them courthouses when you're handling situations and stuff like that. That stuff, you be thinking you're going to be out of there. You know, you just go in there and pull out some paperwork or whatever. And then we want to take it hours. Like, jeez, like. And I'm looking at it like, I got to leave from here. Then I got to go rush and get my baby from school. <laughs> so it was a lot. But anyway, long story short, he really wanted, he said, make sure you call me back. And he said, if you could, please come and see me. And usually I'll go, but like I said, this time it was a lot going on. Um, and I was tired, so I see when I left from there. And um, I, listen, when I left from there, my only focus was going home, getting my child and getting in the bed because I was tired. And I went to sleep. I got home probably like three something. Okay. After getting my child. And you know, doing what you gotta do for your kid, and then you just tired. You go to sleep. Took a little nap. And I got a call like around, I will never forget. I think it was like eight ten or something way around there. Um, eight something. I, I think it was it was eight something. And I remember my grandmother calling me and saying that where are you where are you where are you and i'm like i'm in my bed i'm just waking up why is you calling me so much like what's going on and she was like you know the person who was my friend she was like i'm coming to get you right now don't leave out your house stay right there i'm like what is going on she was like such and such killed his mother and his grandmother and i'm like what she was like yeah and they haven't caught him yet and we want to make sure he's not coming to you so i literally um you have to understand the type of energy that I was in at that time. And I remember getting in the car. Because like I said, my grandmother lived right next to his grandmother and his mother. So everything happened in that same complex. And all I remember getting in the car was like, you lying, you lying. Stop saying that. That's mean. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Because I knew this person. He was always good hearted. He was very protective. Um, You know... And I was like, I just had to see it with my own eyes. And when they, I will never forget when they pulled up to the block because we couldn't get in. It was everything was taped up. And I just hopped out. I was like, hey, y'all don't even need to like just stop right here. Like I hopped out that car, started running. Ooh, running. I ran to the building and it was just like all these police and news reports. So I ain't never seen that many news reporters in my life. Everybody just liked it. And I still didn't care. I was running. Whew, whew, whew. I'm talking about, you know, the yellow tape. I'm trying to go under there and add things. I ran to the building and I just like, the cop grabbed me like, ma'am, you have to stop. You have to stop. And from that moment right there, I knew it was true. And I broke down. It's like I collapsed. Like my body just like went like, whoop. Like it went out on me. Like, and um, he was his mother only child. He was his mother only child and his mother was the only child to her mother. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Sagittarius. Um, I knew that he was going through a lot in his life at that time. So when he used to call me at a random time, even when I was in relationships, you know, people would understand our bond and I would, you know, try to be there. But I didn't know it was that it was that bad. And um I had to forgive myself for that. But I also realized that um, you know, me being that girl that always show up trying to help people, what would happen if I would have came to his house? You know? He murdered his mother and his grandmother. And um Temperance, Sagittarius energy, temperance, the high, somebody is protected. Um, somebody, temperance, high friend, the ten of pentacles, this is like family, this is inherent, your ancestors, the high honor, somebody was protected. You could have been through a lot, you know, and some people you probably thought was going to be a part of your journey, you know. I just like to be trans, you know, transparent with you guys. I could go on and on and day for days about certain experiences that I've been through. Over here with somebody, 
you know my my 30s where i'm at now you know but this is not the time for it but i just try to give you story times little bits and pieces of me you know things that i've been through that i try to help somebody you is protection and with this sudden wealth is given like that ten of pentacles your ancestors you know this your ancestors chose you to fulfill something and there's nothing gonna get in the way And I think about all the time, like, if I would have just called him back, most likely I probably wouldn't even call right away. I probably would have went to the house and just like, yo, what's going on with you? You all right? Okay, because you, you, you just seem like, but it was not meant for me to go to that house that day. It was meant for me to listen to my intuition and take my behind home to get my son and go to sleep. And it's crazy because we was talking, last time I got the phone call with him was like around one something at afternoon. By eight something, I got a call and said all of this stuff went down. You know? Somebody's strong and they've been through a lot. Okay? And none of that went in vain. You are meant to be here for a reason. You know, um with the coffin and despair, whatever these endings are, you can't, somebody been out here trying to save people all their life. When are you gonna save you, Page of Wands? You know, it's time for you to save you. It's time for you to be happy. It's time, to, time for you to enjoy life. You are very powerful, you know? I also feel like whoever I'm picking up on, you're actually like a guide, okay? And, and physical form. Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups energy? With the Wheel of Fortune. It's time for you to be. It's, time, it's getting a lot of doors opening. A lot of opportunity and possibilities for you with the Wheel of Fortune being at the bottom. You could have had your head in the clouds for a while. And, it, and for some of you guys, this could have just been a mental prison. But yeah, about the Six of Cups about your past. But your past is your past. All you have right now is the moment. You don't even have the future. But you can know that somebody has to get the foresight. They know. They know what their future is supposed to be like since they was very young. High Priestess Energy. I feel like if you was dealing with anybody from the past that was causing illusions, that was keeping secrets from you, that was keeping secrets from you in your past to try to cause illusions to have you, have you in this mental fog, I feel like that is over. Somebody is about to live a life that they're going to, it's like it's taking your control back. It's taking your freedom back. Somebody is about to be living a life of gold that I just heard. <clears throat> Somebody name could be Annie. Somebody name could be Scott. Ooh, child. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, the Sun card. Somebody wanted you to miss out on an opportunity. Somebody didn't want you to get that Ace of Pentacles. Something is about to change real quick. The hangman. You're going to realize that people have been trying to sacrifice you for a long time. Queen of Swords, that's the truth. You're going to realize that something has been powerful over your life since the Six of Cups to the Sun card since a child. Okay? To cause some type of illusion or confusion. You know, hidden secrets, mysteries, and things evolving in your life. You know, and trying to get you to miss out on something that was meant for you to be great. I don't know who, you know, whoever I'm picking up one for. But you're going to be something big. You're going to be something really, really big. And I'm not just trying to cause no type of illusion or make you believe something that's not real. This is real shit that I'm feeling. Eight of Pentacles, two of Wands. There's a decision that needs to be made. Okay? <clears throat> I feel like someone is also having deja vu about you and realizing something about their past. And they are deciding to, you know, as you end things, I feel like your person is ending things too as well. It's like somebody, they wanted somebody to have an ace of pentacles in reverse. They wanted somebody to miss out on an opportunity. They wanted, somebody wanted to steal something from somebody. 
yeah, five of swords because they were jealous. You know, whoever I'm picking up on, you've been through a lot. It's like it is it's none of this stuff is new to you. It just you know, you being so chosen, you know, the spiritual welfare comes with it. It just only makes you stronger. Page of Cups to the Four of Pentacles. People have been trying to hold you back since you was early, since you was young, since you was a child. Okay? Five of Swords to the King of Wands. I feel like these people are being feeling defeated or will be defeated because whoever you are, you was, you was, you was born to be this natural born leader. You know? You was meant to stand out you were meant to be who the divine is calling you to be and not only that but it seems like somebody else is stepping into that with you you know somebody is realizing that they're special just like you so your counterpart could have went through as much as you went through because with this train being here and this couple being here somebody is like what is the whole love but it's like now somebody is ready to like take action. Now somebody is accepting this mission. They accepted a path. They accepted things for what it is. But somebody could have been very confused for a long time with the seven of cups, six of cups. Like, why is this happening to me? Why is I'm always going through this? Or why is one thing after another since I've been a child? Why, why, why? It's like something that was supposed to be hidden from you. Someone is listening. They realizing who they are. It was like a lot of secrets that was around you since a very young age where it was meant to keep you performing and, and not know your worth so you wouldn't step into your, you know, to your higher self to receive, you know, this abundance. Four wands, the world card. I feel like both of you guys are ending out things, you know, the world card. Things are coming to an end. Four wands to the lovers. Yeah. I'm hearing you guys about to turn up. <laughs> so turn up. So you guys are getting prepared for a union. Knight of Cups. Three is towards Eight of Cups. I feel like whoever you leaving behind, people are going to be hurt. Mm -hmm. People are going to be hurt. Because you moving on with your life. It's like the next chapter in the journey. It's like people wanting to keep you close to them and attach themselves to you. What's the love? Two of swords. It came out sideways. Somebody name could be Michelle. Six of Wands. Four of Swords. You were already meant to be stuck. You were meant to move forward into success and victory. Six, six. Something was very spiritual. It's like you had to go into the unknown and walk into an unknown territory and uncover and discover so many hidden secrets of why things happened in your life and why things were the way it were and realize how covered you were. The whole plan with the two or sideways to keep you in your head so you didn't see something. But with the four sports sitting on top of the two of swords, I feel like as you heal, you're able to move forward into the six of wands energy. Six, six. I just feel like something is very spiritual. The temperance being here. Yeah. Archangel Michael, whoever you are, you're an earth angel. And you're very much protected. The full card as you begin a new beginning. I just see the nine of pentacles to the king of swords. They could have been a king of swords that wanted to see you single. Um, not with anyone. What's the world card? Ten of wands. Yeah, you're closing out cycles that was, you know heavy, hard, you know, things that will weigh you down, that is over with, yeah, Ace of Cups, that is over with, yeah, Knight of Wands, the Devil, the Star card, karmic situations closing out, flighty energies, it's like, Whoever you are, I don't see the shrimp card out here, but I did see the shrimp card in the Oracle deck. It's like you've always been strong. 
So, you know, the person downstairs, they use their little man to come in on your path. And because your light shines so bright, because I'm looking at the tempers with the halo on top, it's like your energy. You attract all types of people, you know? And you could, you know, people, somebody wanted you to take on those people's burdens, but it was only a trap. Three of swords to hurt you. But I feel like as you realize and discover with the chariot, you're able to move forward. It's like you discovered a lot. The unknown, the nine of wands, sideways. You've been through a lot. But I see you moving forward, three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're making a decision to just drop the burdens and close out this cycle. Yeah, I can't make it up. Tennis or something is over with. Yeah. I feel like you've been through the hardest part already. I'm looking down at this knowledge. I feel like you got a lot of knowledge. Like, you healed so much to where you would know. Like, you would know if something's just not right. You would know. Because you have healed, you know, and you're supposed to share that with others. Four of cups. What's the four of cups? Yeah, the strength card. The ace of swords, the ace, I mean, the ace of swords and the king of pentacles. You're about to see. Spirit said that's the damn truth. The ace of swords speaks about truth, clarity, triumphant, um, but more so about mental clarity. You know, so you realize, you know, why you went through what you went through. Whoever you are, you got a lot of strength. If anyone wanted to identify you in one word, it would be strength. Okay. I just heard a work of art. <laughs> so your art, your art, like I just heard a work of art. Your life could be like a work of art. Your, you could be sculpture like the art. It's something about, it's like. It's meant to be seen. It's different. It's going to be seen, Spirit said. King of Pentacles. What's the Four of Cups? You didn't miss out on anything. Yeah, you didn't miss out on anything. Somebody wanted you to miss out on it. But with the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, I see you investing, you know, investing in yourself, creating an empire. There's also someone who's going to come in and invest and give to you that wants something stable, something solid. Somebody could be already doing well for themselves and they see you and they want to invest in you, okay? Somebody feels like you're worth investing in. What's the King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles? Two of Wands in reverse. So this could have been somebody who didn't take action before. What's the two of wands? The five of pentacles, the moon card. Something was just an illusion. It wasn't real. Somebody wanted you to feel like you missed out or you was out in the cold. Maybe you felt like before in the past with the six of cups, oh, I didn't take action before. So maybe I missed. And I said, I don't care what age you are. You never miss anything. You ain't miss nothing. It was always here for you. It was you that had to take the action. Make the decision to choose you. Something was just an illusion to keep you, make you feel like you was in a five of pentacles, like you was stuck. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, that's the truth with the ace of wands. New beginning. I can't make it up. What's the moon card? Yeah, page of pentacles. There's a new beginning here for you. Something's fresh. You could be going back to school. You could be starting something new. This could be a hobby. Or, you know, whatever you put in your energy and your time in, you're working hard on it. Three of cups. Something because you know, move. You know, I see reconciliation. I heard wifey, so somebody sees you as their wife. Three of Pentacles, they want to work with you. Queen of Wands, the high, um, the hermit. So, not only are you very beautiful, very attractive, very ambitious, a go getter, um, somebody see like you, you somebody who's very wise. That's why I said earlier, somebody's literally a guide in human form. You got a lot of knowledge, you, you could be older. Or for some of you guys, you just could be someone with an old, old soul. You got so much knowledge and you don't learn so much and you got so more much to learn. 
but it's something about you that it stands out to whoever this person is that feel like they want marriage with you. They want to work with you. The Emperor, the Three of Pentacles, they feel like y'all can do big things together. Okay. Mm, what's the Three of Pentacles? Somebody also think you're sweet. <laughs> yeah, the higher friend. Somebody wants to commit with which I heard somebody think you're sweet. <laughs> What's the high friend? They want to commit me with you. Five of Cups. It's a Queen of Cups. So, mm, somebody could be in their head. Maybe they feel like, you know, they missed out on someone. And they want to, you know, do it all over again. The judgment, they want a second chance. Ten of Cups. But they see you as, like, you know, the Ten of Cups speaks about, um, you know, emotional fulfillment in every aspect of your life. The star card, this person wants to heal. This could have been somebody who was a player before. Somebody even could have been married before. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Seven of somebody could even juggle with you. And, that, and they could have been, you know, something could have been the lead. Okay. You could even be moving on from that. Like, that's not... yet. Like, what the, what's the Seven of Swords? You're not dealing with anything like that anymore. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. Somebody who was like... King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who emotions is all over the place. They're not even emotionally invested in the connection. Um, very manipulative. Okay. Two of Pentacles, yeah, Six of Swords. I see, yeah, you're moving on. You're moving, okay. Thank you, Spirit. So with that love as we seen earlier, you're making a choice to, like, walk over. You're closing out karmic cycles. It's giving endings for new beginnings. Yeah, Two of Cups, the death card. Mm -hmm. Something is changing. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. The Justice card, the Nine of Cups. Yeah. What's this? The devil, the queen of pentacles? I could be done with a Capricorn. But somebody's closing out a cycle with somebody. Because they're going after their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. What's the justice? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Knight of wands. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's like, we, it's like, I'm going to be honest, somebody who crying over spilled milk that juggled you and now I'm there in a, a, a karmic situation with a, somebody who's toxic and it's like, it's giving like missed out on something good and spirit like move around because we got something better. Some of the wands, eight of pentacles. Yeah. Something better. It's like queen of pentacles to the eight of swords. Somebody feels like they stuck or trapped in a situation, okay, where they don't want to be. Okay, this could have been somebody who played you, took advantage of you, and just wasn't there for you. And, and your guys are just guiding you to something better. It's something better on your path. The Magician to the Eight of Cups to the Empress. Yeah. Yeah, Empress, Knight of Cups, Page of Wands. You got good news coming in. Okay. Um, Somebody do want to message you. Okay. What the Page of Swords, this person's been, you know, studying you, watching you. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is somebody who put you in competition and wants to come in and express their feelings and their emotions for you. But with the Eight of Cups to the Magician, to the King of Swords. This somebody also with the hate me and realizing how you didn't deserve that. How somebody realizing how cool and manipulative they were towards you as well. You know, it's like as somebody learn you and understand you, they get more information <clears throat> about you. And they have regret because they feel like, you know, you won't reconcile with them, you know. And I just feel like this person in a whole other situation, your, your, your guys are not letting this person close to you at all. They're not. Let's see. What's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? I'm going to close this up. Who was there for a while? I'm going to close this up. Yeah, the death card. Something is changing. There's an ending here. Something is major. I just heard. What's the death card? Oh, shit. Yeah, Eight of Cups. The King of Cups in the cup right now. Ace of Wands to the Justice. 
So somebody, somebody who was one way before the past is now coming back wanting a commitment, something different with you. I heard this person been suffering since. Three of Wands, the Judgment, Hangman, Page of Pentacles. Somebody is realizing something and listening to the intuition. They want a second chance with you. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. So something about the past is changing. Somebody's realizing the connection that they have with you. 11 11 I hit twice. Emperor, Empress, definitely divine counterparts. Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody name could be um Scott. Zero six zero five. So that's eleven. Somebody is awakening to something. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Ten of swords. Those bitches. Something is over with. Yeah. Somebody realizing that they wish fulfillment is gone. Ace of Wands, that's the truth. With the Five of Swords. Oh, shell. Now, somebody else could be bitter as hell and mad because they were trying to hold this person back from you and they know that this person wants to come towards you. Discussion that's coming in between you and someone. Okay. Somebody is getting left behind and moving on with their life, and someone is bitter and mad and angry and upset about it. Someone had the opportunity, they should have, you know, did right by you. Passion, what's the passion? Oh, child. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. I'm telling you, so you trust. Okay, it's safe for you to trust in a situation. Somebody who's passionate about you is realizing that it was safe to trust you the whole time. Yeah, it says release. Somebody who you walked away from, yeah, they want a second chance. Somebody realizing who you are. Passion, trust, and release a second chance. It's like they want a second chance. Yeah, but integrity and new love, it's something that this person did to you with the integrity and new love that it don't sit right with you, and it also don't sit right with your ancestors. So, it's a new love here. It says new love or recommitment to love is development. Someone is longing for you with the leap of faith sticking out and balance. Someone wants to now take a risk on this connection and balance things out. Someone who shared a lot of chemistry with. What's the new love? What's the new love? That part. All the way over there. Yeah. New love is playing for our soulmate. So if this was a twin flame connection, there's a soulmate that's coming in. Mm. Somebody is in a lot of regret. Somebody feels a lot of remorse for the, the way they treated you. Okay. But spirit said, let's see your intuition. Don't dismiss the red flags, faith, self-care. Yeah, I feel like you chose you, decided to focus on you. Okay. Yeah. I feel like when you detached, you healed the part of yourself. You started loving on yourself. Things came into balance for you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay? Somebody is realizing that something was a trauma bond with them and someone else. They was never supposed to be there. It's like, okay, so your person could be going through a weakening. 
somebody know who you are. Past life love, your soul remembers an intense connection. Spiritual lesson and abundance. This person in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, abundance. You've done the work, abundance souls to you now. You learned the lesson. Yeah, decision and addiction. Something is final. Yeah, retreat. Whatever you release, you was warned. You was you was ordered by the divine to release, to bring balance into a situation. Bring balance to yourself. So into your life. You know? Somebody is literally grieving someone the lost because something is over with. Mm -hmm. And they know that it's over with. Somebody missed out on something good. And they in regret. It says someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Intuition, you already know the answers you seek. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags or treat. You was you was you was guided to pull your energy back. For some of you guys, you're gonna have to take it. You know, put it where it fits to your story, but you have two people in your energy because I'm literally picking up on two different scenarios. One person and another person, okay? Yeah, look how I keep going. Step, if somebody wants a second chance, apology. This relationship is moving forward to a sacred union and forgiveness. Wait, the time it wasn't right. So for some of you guys, somebody just, they, they was unhealed and they, they went through some type of awakening. It was some type of addiction that was keeping y'all apart. Um... Now somebody got their suitcases, they ready, packed up and ready. Somebody's having deja vu. They know they're supposed to be on this journey with you. Okay, it could have been them um, releasing someone from their past. Okay? Yeah, maybe this person had ties to someone from their past. They needed to release. Let's see if I missed that. Okay, we're going to close it out. Give me more holes there from this deck. Forgiving and learning and make the effort. Somebody wants your forgiveness and they want to come back and make the effort now. We have romantic feelings. Someone wants to come in and speak. They, um, somebody want to express um, their feelings and their emotions for you. Um, religious factors. So religious factors could have been getting away of this connection. Um, someone could be very spiritual. Someone could be very traditional. Maybe something about somebody's upbringing. Um, you could be very different. Somebody could have been, you know expecting something to be a certain way or they were supposed to be with a certain type um but it's given like somebody is realizing that you are very different oh, yeah you are but you was meant to be on a path with me yeah it's getting to know each other yeah give me one more It says, it says, forgive and learn it. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I feel like that is you. Coming into acceptance with things that happen from your past. Um, great love is, is, is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Somebody wasn't trying to take the steps when it came to this love connection between you guys before. Okay? Because something that they was holding on to that they were hurt about. Also, because there was some differences between you guys. Spirit is saying you deserve love. And under the bottom, it says, give your relationship a chance. Okay. So, I'm going to close this out, Sun Seeds. I know this reading was a little long. And I definitely gave you guys a little story time. You know. But certain things I feel like, you know, it can help someone. For the ones who rock with me. I'm here for you guys all the way, you know? And I thank you guys for your love and support to this channel. Thank you. If you're looking for more additional readings, please check my Patreon out. We definitely um, been getting busy over there. Do some more um, videos between later on and then tomorrow. First part out, we have Taurus. We have Aries. Cancer energy here. Gemini. Ooh. Any more signs? So we have Taurus, Aries, Cancer, and Aquarius. 
any more Holy Spirit. Scorpio, but it, it wanted to come up in reverse, so somebody could be letting go of a Scorpio. We have Virgo, or well, Scorpio could be letting go of someone. We have Pisces, is in reverse, someone could be letting go of Pisces, or you could be a Pisces. Sagittarius in reverse, somebody could be letting go of Sagittarius, or you could be a Sagittarius. Anything? And we have a Libra. Okay. Well, I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity in your situation. I love you guys so very much, Sun Seeds. Okay. Until we get them next time. Later, Sun Seeds. <laughs>